Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. This is the middle of the day, so the sun is a bit harsh coming through the uh, windows. It's fantastic for playtime on the table, kind of bad for the glare. I'm okay with that. I hope you are too. Uh, some fun playtime on the table today, playing with coffee spills, uh, coffee splatters, uh, coffee patterns on some um, cardboard covered with underpants, covered with gesso, and then played with the coffee. So mix it up. Marcy said it was okay if I used some of her techni techniques, which are so fun. So I do want to do a shout out uh, right here on my computer. Uh, these are Kappa. Thank you so much. One, two, three, four, five cups. Thank you so much. From Michael and Andrea, Mateo, Marion. Uh, Cindy ordered a stencil. Um, Carol ordered a stencil. Judy dropped off a fantastic book and a new metal ruler, which I've been lusting after a metal ruler for months. I tried to steal uh, Patricia's, but she noticed it was missing. <laughs> and uh, Cookie ordered a mask. So thank you so much for all of your support, your comments, your subs, your subscribes. Uh, you're purchasing through Amazon. All of those things help the, uh, the lights stay on at dark o'clock right here in, uh, in our village. So I thank you so much. We're going to uh, play with the metal and leather and paper today. Some copper. I did it one way. I redid it. Uh, the copper I used was a bit heavy. Uh, you'll learn all that through the video. So um, thanks again for joining me and all of your support. And <laughs> see you on the table. And I'm bringing you in for a close shot. This is our project for today. This is a paper clay uh, frozen Charlotte that I painted. The front cover and the back cover uh, of the book uh, Handsome Hubby cut a uh, flower pot, a metal flower pot. Uh, he gave me some of these for Christmas, which I'm so happy that he did. So he cut those out of a flower pot. So that's the front and the back. Uh, this is a piece of leather from my dad's coat, his jacket. Uh, so that's delicious. And then I played uh, with the pages. The pages are not quite dry, so they're still a little bit fragile. But uh, I coffee stained these. Thank you, Marcy. Mix it up, Marcy. I'll leave a link to her uh, channel and I'll leave a link to the copper binding. Uh, I decided to make a copper binding out of the co uh, or with the copper wire. She's tied on with the copper wire. Uh, I put a jump ring here and here to hold the leather ties. So lots going on. Very, very fun project. All right, these are the cardboard dividers from wine boxes. Uh, they come in like a grid inside the wine box. I love the cardboard. So I have 10 of these, and I have some old book pages, and I have Mod Podge. Mod Podge on the cardboard. We're gonna put very simple underpants on these pages. Book page on the front, book page on the back. And we'll do that to all 10 pages. Set them aside to dry. When you get underpants on all the pages, you can tear the, which I prefer, you can tear the excess underpants off, or of course you can cut them off whichever is your preference. I love the ragged edge, so I do a lot of tearing. Bring my corner cutter in and just create a soft corner on all the pages. Bring in my white gesso and paint the front and back of each page. Front, let it dry. Back, I'm going to paint the frozen Charlotte with black gesso. I'm 
All right, when the black gesso is dry, I'm going to bring in some sandpaper, scuff her up. I'm going to bring in a gold acrylic paint. Oh, it's so old and sticky. And <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm using it. I'm going to be using the metal for the covers and I would like leather on the inside and I want the suede or the rough side to show. So I will put tacky glue on the metal and then put my metal or the leather on that way. Put my rice bag on there. Keep that nice and flat and I will do the same to this. I'm going to bring my frozen Charlotte back in and scuff her back up a little bit with some sandpaper. Alright, I have 10 pages for the book, just so on both sides. I watched a um, Mix It Up Marcy where she did some coffee stains. I have contacted her and she said it was okay <laughs> for me to use some of her techniques. So I have some very strong coffee here in a large bowl. I'm going to start off just by uh, dipping my coffee cup in there, in that coffee, and putting a couple of coffee rings on there. Let those dribble down. Sop that up. Set that aside to dry. We'll do another. We'll do another coffee ring. We've got plenty of plenty of pages. On this one, I'm going to paint some coffee on here. Take some lentils. Let that dry. Bringing, I'll put two. We'll put two down at the same time. And I have a stipple brush and I'm going to flick. Let those dry. This time we're going to use <laughs> Not very often do you get to put your brush in your coffee. This time I'm going to use some uh, sea salt. Marcy used table salt. I don't have table salt, I just have sea salt. So we are going to use sea salt. Let that dry. And I have some angel hair pasta. Drop some coffee on here. While I am waiting impatiently for those to dry, I'm bringing in Timber Brown Stazon ink and I'm going to catch some of the embossing on the front and the back covers of the book. Then I'm going to cut the extra leather off. I'm going to bring my frozen Charlotte in, put her on the back 
up the front cover and make some white dots as to where I think the hole should be. Bring in my crocodile and poke these holes. Or you can use an awl or a drill. Alright, I'll bring her in, place her on the front where I would like her, put some hot glue on the back of her, stabilize her so she stays put while we wire her. And we'll let that cool. Before I go too much further, I want to pop a hole in the center here on the front and the back. We will see why that's going to happen a little bit later, but I am going to pop those holes now. Good morning, dark o'clock, yoga done. I'm going to go through these pages and repunch the holes for the binding. All right, I've gone through the book and arranged the pages the way that I want them. I am <laughs> going to attempt a Coptic binding with some copper wire. So I may want to shoot myself later on down the road. This is an 18, oh, this is a 20 gauge. Okay, so it's firm, but I should still be able to crease it in place. We shall see. Oh my goodness, well worth the effort. Isn't that beautiful? So I took the wire off her. I do have extra wire left from the binding. And I want to play with her a little bit more. Oh, let's see if I can have a little bit more fun with her. The wire binding is a bit stiff right now. Um, I think after you back and forth it a few times that it'll loosen up. Uh, this, what did I say, a 20 gauge? 20 gauge, you, should, you could probably get away with a, a thinner gauge than this. Um, a little bit thick for the binding. But I love it. So I don't really have a plan. I'm just working the wire up her body, twisting it, poking it through a hole. Down through a hole, up through a hole, and then just twisting it. I have no idea where it's going to go. I know there's a bit of a glare, but here she is. She's gorgeous. Well, like I said, the pages are stiff, so I would go with a, a lighter gauge. This is splatter coffee. Salt. Coffee rings. Uh, salt lentils. Pasta. Coffee rings, coffee rings pasta, lentils, salt, splatters, coffee rings, mm, salt, lentils, coffee rings, splatters, pasta, and lentils, and coffee rings. There it is. Just oh, I am going to put a piece of leather through here. That's why I put the jump rings on there. Alright, I have the leather through the jump rings. I have broken the uh, seal of the hot glue. I'm hoping to be able to put the leather behind her. I'll keep working at that. Alright, that was totally a never give up, never surrender. But we did it. And there is our glorious book. Isn't that fun? Even if you never even open it up, it is just gorgeous. 
but uh, but you can you can open it up and you can plane the pages like I say I would suggest a lighter weight wire uh, my pages are not quite dry so I'm gonna go ahead and put it down by my heater vent and uh, let the pages dry completely just gorgeous alright your turn go create go play Go have fun. This was really fun.